like a cargo. You will carry me. I just hope you know my depth. Even though it makes no sense. Sometimes I'm broken. Too much of emotion. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this glittery burgundy pinkish kind of cut crease. And for this look I played with this beautiful palette by Jolie Beauty. I've never used anything from the brand before, this was actually the first time I ever got something. But the palette looks incredible and I couldn't wait with filming a look with this palette. It has a lot of purple tones, pink tones, orangey tones, golden tones. I think this is just a beautiful palette and I would suggest for anyone that's into those kind of shades, I'm just sure you guys will love it. I will be definitely creating a few more looks with this because I love it so much. So stay tuned for more videos. Also, the palette is launching today. So if you want to get it, um, it will be available at their website today. Um, but yeah, I created this look today and I really hope you guys like it. And if you want to know how I created this, then let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, like always, is priming my eyelids. And I'll be using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid using a P84 brush from Sigma Beauty, which is my favorite brush to apply this eyeshadow primer. I have also a discount code for everything on Sigma Beauty, which I will link down in the description bar. But I'm just gonna apply it all over the eyelid and what I really love about this primer is that it will make sure that like all the redness gets removed from my eyelid. So you kind of start with like a nice blank space for your eyeshadow. So like I said in my intro, I'll be playing with this beautiful palette by Jolie Beauty, which is launching today. I will put all the information in the description bar. And I'm gonna start with this matte white color and I'm gonna use a MAC 242 brush. And I'm gonna press this right underneath the highest point of my eyebrow. I have a separate video where I show like the whole process of how I prime my eyelids and why I'm doing this, but basically that will kind of lift my eyebrow. So now I'm going to apply some eyeshadow guards and this is just a simple trick. It will leave you with a really sharp edge, which you will see later. And then I'm taking this really light, soft pinky color and I'm going to start blending that in my crease. Whenever I do a makeup look, I always start with a light color first in my crease because I feel like it makes it more easier to then blend darker shades. I just like to start with a light color and then I build it up by going darker and darker. So this is like the first transition color we're going for. And it's just a really nice soft pinky color. So I'm taking a really big fluffy brush for this. I think the one I'm using right now is a Morphe M504. Not really sure, but I do think it's that one. It's like a really fluffy and the softer the brush, the softer the application. So if you want like a really soft blend, pick a brush which is really soft because that will help. Then I'm taking this color called Romance and I'm gonna start with blending that in my crease as well. I picked up a brush which is a little bit tinier. This one is from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. Um, I feel like whenever I go in with a bigger brush first and then a brush which is slightly tinier, you will blend it in a lower area if that makes sense because this brush is tinier so it won't blend as big or wide as the bigger brush we used before and this way you can still see that pink that we used before peeking right above it so that's kind of a trick that i'm using i'm starting with a really big brush and then i'll go tinier and tinier it's kind of hard to explain but i hope that makes sense so now i'm taking the same brush and a color called wild which is more like a brighter and darker fuchsia kind of color and i mainly focus in the outer v and then with whatever is left on my brush i'm gonna blend it more towards the middle part of my crease but i want most of this color to be like at the outer v of my eyelid because i'm going to create a cut crease today and i want like a lot of darkness to be at the outer end of my eyelid so i'm going in with a few more shades which are going to be like darker and darker and i'm going to start with applying it in the outer v and then softly also blending it more towards the middle part of the crease but that's basically only because i want everything to be like really nice blended out so now i'm taking these two colors and mix them on my brush once again starting with blending that at the outer v and then when i'm done with that i'm gonna blend it more towards the middle part just because everything kind of melts together a little bit better but i want most product to be in my outer v 
And if you have any questions regards makeup, if you see me do something that you're not really sure about why I'm doing this, you can ask me anything. So don't just leave it down in the comment section. I will try to answer all of your questions. Don't hesitate. You can also send me a DM on Instagram. I always try to respond to everyone. So you can also do that. Um, I have my username in the description bar, which is this my forename and my last name. So you can find me really easily. So when I'm done with that, I'm going in with the shade, which is black. And this is just a simple black matte color, which was super intense. So I'm going to blend that in the outer V as well, because I wanted it to be even darker. I would suggest, because this shade is quite intense, that you don't apply too much on your brush. Because with black, you can go overboard really easily. So it's better to apply a little bit less and then build it up instead of applying too much. And then you have to kind of try to fix it. So now to cut the crease, I'm going to use my all-time favorite concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. The reason why I really like this concealer is because it dries completely. So you don't have to worry that your crease will transfer on the eyeshadow right above the crease. I think I'm using this now for four years, maybe longer. Um, sometimes I switch to different concealers just to see how they work. But I always go back to this one. I just really love it. And it's just one of my favorites. And I use it in the lighter shade, which is NC15. And the lighter you go, like the eyeshadows will pop a little bit more. Especially if you use like really vibrant colors. You want the base to be as light as possible. So the eyeshadows really stand out. If you have like a darker skin color than me, then I would also suggest to go in with a concealer, which is a lot lighter. Um, this might look really weird when you're applying it because... The contrast of your skin color and your eye color will be super weird, but we're gonna apply eyeshadow on top of it so at the end you won't even see it anymore. So if you have dark skin and you find it really hard to like make eyeshadows pop on your on your skin, which I can imagine because your skin is darker, so the eyeshadows will just not be like super vibrant. I would just suggest to go in with a concealer which is a lot lighter even though it will look super weird but i've seen some woman do it on instagram which had also like darker skin and it was looking really weird when she applied the primer because it was obviously way too light for her skin but at the end it looked so amazing and all the eyeshadows were popping so just a trick try it out and if it still looks crazy then maybe don't do it anymore but um, i think it looked really cool and it's just an easy trick so now I'm going in with the shade Knockout. I was talking a lot, so I, I wasn't explaining what I was doing. But basically I was applying the metallic shades and I just created a sort of ombre. I started with the golden, then I applied the rosy, bronzy shade next to it. And now I'm blending with this color around the edges. And since I've also used that shade in my crease before, it's now really easy to kind of blend the crease and the eyelid together. So now I'm going in with some glitter and I'm using the Makeup Studio um yeah i don't really know what the name is but i will put the name in the description bar it's like a glue which you can use to like make glitters a bit more sticky and then i went in with the bh cosmetics glitter in the color smoky gold and i'm applying it right on top of like the beginning part of my eyelid i'm not gonna apply this all the way to the outer end i want that to be like smoky and matte i don't want to kind of touch it with the glitter i'm stopping like kind of a little bit further than halfway the eyelid and you can also skip this part i think the glitter is super beautiful but i also really liked how it looked like without the glitter situation you can also go for the metallic version of this eye look if you want if you don't have a glitter like this um, but i just wanted to kind of make this eye look even more dramatic than it already is so then now I'm taking this eyeliner, which is one of my favorite drugstore gel eyeliners. It's by Maybelline and I'm going to create a winged liner. Then now for the waterline, I'm taking the Barium 
um, waterproof bold pencil which is a really nice black pencil from the waterline it's super intensely black and that's what i was going for so if you're searching for a nice drugstore pencil this one is really great and super black so i will definitely recommend this one and then i'm going back in with the palette taking the shade blackout and i'm gonna softly press this right underneath the lower lash line to really smoke it out sometimes i also apply it on top of the waterline to kind of lock the eyeshadow pencil in place so you can easily apply it on top of your waterline if you're wearing contacts you might have to be a little bit more careful because you don't want the eyeshadow to get in your eye it can get a little bit messy but if you are not wearing contacts you're totally safe to use eyeshadow on your waterline then now to blend this out i'm gonna use this shade called vivid and i'm gonna take a really tiny pencil brush and i'm kind of pressing it underneath the lower lash line and sweeping and then i kind of um, I'm not really sure how to say it. I tap off the excess product so that's why you see me blend and then I go away with my brush because I want to avoid like fallout underneath the eyes especially with pink. Pink really soaks in the skin and it's so hard to remove so that's why I was doing that. Then I'm taking my favorite mascara which is by Benefit Cosmetics. It's the Waller Lash Mascara. It has became one of my favorite mascaras because I think it's so nice for the lower lashes. Like, I don't really care about my upper lashes. I'm going in with fake eyelashes anyway. But for my lower lashes, it's amazing. And I'm taking these lashes from Tati Lashes in the style TL10. Which are really beautiful. They have like long hairs and then a little space in between. Which makes them look really flirty. And they're quite dramatic. But I felt like this look is kind of dramatic. So I think it will suit really well with the look. And then I'm applying it with my fingers. And kind of making it tight using a tweezer and then this is the end of the video i really hope you all enjoy watching today's video i really enjoy creating this skirt crease i feel like whenever i do a skirt crease i'm really like in my own element i just really love to create skirt creases as you all know and i just love the little touch of glitter also if i wouldn't have used the glitter i would also really love it i really like that golden metallic color that I used all over the eyelid so if you recreate it you can also skip the glitter and just go for the metallic version but yeah I really enjoy creating this I hope you all enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did also if there are any specific um, makeup looks you want me to do with the palette then don't forget to leave this down in the comments down below and hopefully I will see you all in my next video bye guys you said that you needed me like a cargo you will carry me